Hey, welcome back to our final crypto coin staking video. So I just found this website, stakecube.net, not too long after I started making these videos because I was actually doing some research so that I could give you guys good information about staking coins and whatnot. So I don't have a lot of coins in here, but let me introduce you to this website and if you have watched all of the other two videos on staking coins and it seems interesting to you, this would be the website I would start on if I was doing it again. The reason being is because you can actually start, even if you have no interest whatsoever in going too far with staking coins, if you just want to try it out or if you're one of those people who just wants some coins to say, I have, I have cryptocurrency, I'm cool with that this is the site you want to go to and there's a reason for that and I will get to those reasons shortly but first let's tour the site a little bit and I will cover those reasons as I get to them and it will cover in this bonus section so once I get down to the bonus section you'll understand why this is the site that you want to start with if you're new to staking coins or you're unsure about it and you just want to try it out so pay attention when I get down there if that applies to you so StakeCube is just a lot like the other two sites we visited. They have a few coins. So you've got a few interesting ones. You've got Bitcoin Green, Dev, of course. Um, and of course, this one was of great interest to me. So I wanted to get this one so that I had MMO coin. So I'm building up MMO coin. And I will tell you, I didn't purchase any of this. And I'll tell you how I got it once we get down to this bonus section. Uh, the crop coin I had on another server, I sent it over. The VSX I actually bought. And the RDD I purchased just to have some coin investments and there's a reason for that and I'll explain that in the bonus section a lot of this is going to hinge on the bonus section so the dashboard is your coin cockpit it tells you where all the coins are and you can check your master node slots and these are the master nodes that they currently have deviant stip and crop syndicate and Bitcoin green so if you wanted to get into master noting these are the coins you want to transfer over you can go to the news feed and the newsfeed is simple, saying that MMO coin is available now. Good to know. You can go to your activity, and you can see all the activity on your stakes. And I like the level of detail, the granularity that they put into this website to tell you what you can get in your single transaction history, as it tells you this is the coin, BWS. And I got this much reward. And then I can see the combined stake history per day. So I can look at all my coins and I can see how much I'm getting some reward per day right here. Very, very handy. You can go see our deposits, our withdrawals, and our statistics. I don't think I've been staking long enough to build a statistics page, but as this fills up, I'm sure it will become more interesting. Oh, I do. So I've been staking for one day. This is uh, accounting for the deposit and the coin maturity. It tells me how many stakes I have received for each coin. So if I'm seeing like this one start to go up, I'm realizing I'm getting a lot of stakes for this one. Whereas for crop, I'm not getting so many. Now, I might not be getting the amount. So as you can see, I get twice as much crop coin as I do BWS, but I get 100 times more occasions of stakes. So if the price goes up, and you can see the price disparity right here. But these two are close. It was 16 on MMO. I only have that much, but I get that much with Bitcoin W. All right, so we'll move on. So that's my personal activity. This is you. 
Now I'll move down to the pool activity and you can see all the activity in all the pools, even the ones you don't have investments in. It does take a minute to load up, but when it does, it's a good way to analyze if you want to put money in a coin, it will tell you if it's worth it. And usually you can select a particular coin to focus on. Uh, let's pick uh, Syndicate. And eventually it might bring up pull history. All right, well, I don't want to wait for this but it looks the same as the other one. Uh, pool activity, stakes, deposits, and withdrawals. Tells you all the deposits, withdrawals, and stakes that have been done across the pool itself. So this is you and activity, this is everybody in pool activity. You can withdraw, you can go to the master node section and see the master nodes they have. <coughs> And you can see how many are hosted. Excuse me. You can see the required coins to build a master node. And you can see the differences between each. And this is what makes master nodes kind of interesting. To get a Bitcoin green master node, you need 2,500 coins. So if you don't have 2,500 coins yourself, you can contribute 25 coins and get a slot. There are 84 slots available. So you can contribute 25, 50, 100, however many you want to contribute and buy up more slots and that gives you more presence. And when it fills up, the master node starts and they generate another one. That's why there are 19 Bitcoin W Spectrum ones that require 50,000 coins available. There are no current slots available to buy. You need 500 coins per slot. So you've got to pay in 500 coins for every slot you want to buy. I don't have any master nodes with them yet. Like I said before, I usually like to keep my master nodes on my own control because master nodes don't always benefit from having a shared pool. Uh, it does make it easier, but generally I would like to just buy the 5,000 coins myself and start my own master node. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but I'm a techie and I like that stuff, so it works out. Uh, they do have an affiliate program, and one of the things they're building, and to cover this, so yes, I'm going to put my affiliate link at the bottom of the video. Sign up for it if you like, don't if you don't want to, but I will say, in this particular case, if you do sign up, I would really appreciate it if you would use it, because I'm sharing some very good, valuable information with you on here that can get you started with no investment whatsoever from you, or a very minimal investment. And I'll explain that in a minute. So one thing that StateCube is trying to build is uh, either a relationship with an exchange or a, an exchange themselves. So <clears throat> if I buy into Deviant, which is easy to do, and these will move around based on the value. I've seen these two flip-flop and these, they just switch all day. So let's say I've got 99 VSX and I want to trade out for some uh, something about the same price. Uh, some Ducat or some Turbo because it's even lower. So I can take 10, 15 v VSX, trade it for some Turbo and now I've got VSX and Turbo. So they're going to make it easier for you to buy the coins because you'll be able to trade within the coins on the site itself. And that, that actually is pretty awesome. I like that because I'm gaining, I'm gaining, I'm gaining in this coin and I want to get another coin started. Well, I can use the gains in this coin to start the next coin I want to get into. Uh, Syndicate is not a bad coin to invest in. Uh, well, at least as I'm writing this, it's not horrible. It doesn't have a huge dollar figure, but <clears throat> it does have an interesting white page, and I kind of like their website. I like their old website better than their new one, but I followed it for a while, and I, I just never really had anything to do with it personally, 
but I've had a passing interest in it. So let's say I'm very interested in Syndicate, hypothetically. I could take some of my, uh, what is this anyway? Red coin, that's what I thought it was. And I can go to the exchange when it gets started on the site. I don't have to trade it to an exchange and then trade it back. I can just exchange the coins here. And that that's awesome, I like that. And I think that's what they're intending to do is intercoin trading within the site. Hopefully they allow Bitcoin as well. Uh, one thing on the uh, the cockpit that I like is right up at the top, it shows you your account balance in US dollars <clears throat> and Bitcoin right away. So as soon as you're looking at your coins, <clears throat> you can see how much you're holding <clears throat> without having to go anywhere. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. So now under that all important bonus section. The first thing we're going to want to cover is verification. Now, this isn't the know your customer verification that some sites are doing. This is their verification system to prove that you're serious about being on the site. So you start out at level one when you become a member and you can deposit and withdraw coins. That's all you have to do. You don't have to actually do anything other than sign up. And you have the ability to deposit and withdraw coins and you have the ability to use some of the other bonus features. Not all of them, but some of them. At level two, you verify your email. Easy enough. You can participate in coin votes, so that opens up the coin vote right here. At level three, you can make, make one deposit to get level three. So if you deposit anything, it doesn't matter how small, trivial it is, you make one deposit, you reach level three verification because you have contributed to the pool, so you were an active member. You can receive airdrops for all coins. Now, airdrops, what they do, every once in a while, you'll just get free coin to promote a coin or to bump up a coin's exposure. They'll give away free coin. Uh, if you have an account on Stocks Exchange and do some trading on there fairly regularly, you'll get airdrops from coins all the time. So you'll have them throw like two or 50 coins in your account and you'll get an email about it and say, hey, congratulations, you've got a free gift. And you'll go to your thing and you'll have like two to 50 to 100 free coins or whatever they're giving out. Just show up in your account, no charge. And that's kind of awesome. Well, this works the same way. But you actually have to make a deposit, an actual deposit from external source. I have to make that clear to become level three. And on level four, all you have to do is wait for one stake to occur. So as soon as you get one of your coins to pay out, you get level four if you've reached level three already. I don't think you can do one, two, and four. I think you actually have to get three first before you can get four. And there are plenty of coins with very little value that you can buy on Trade Satoshi, transfer over 0.1 of a coin for less than a $2 and qualify for level three. The airdrops for the coins should definitely make up for it. So coin vote, once you get up to level two, you can vote on the next suggested coin, what that should be. So which coin out of these that have been suggested would you like to see added to their poll? And these are the ones that are up right now. And I actually have some of these, so uh, it would be hard pressed for me to choose one. But I haven't done research in any of these top five. But Stellar Holdings, I actually have some. So I'm going to cast my vote for that one. And you can vote once a day till the till it closes out the vote, and then you can come back and vote again. Voting isn't really a feature always that you want or need to have. This isn't going to benefit you unless you have an interest in one of these coins. If you do, awesome. But if you don't, vote for one that you would like to see, and it's not going to help you, hurt you, whatever. I'm pretty sure Draft Coin's going to win, but that's okay. I don't know anything about it. 
So now we're going to get to the airdrops section. So basically, like I said, they contribute a number of coins to increase the exposure of the coin. And this is the balance in the airdrop pool. So they currently have, let's pick MMO. MMO coin has 3.0857789 coins available in the airdrop balance. And if they drop an airdrop, estimated rewards per user, 0.00351455. So you would get 0 0.003 of a coin for just being on the site. And that's pretty awesome. I don't know how often they do these. I have not gotten any yet. But when they do drop, getting some coin just to promote the coin itself isn't a horrible thing. You may not have a lot of interest in the coin yourself, but I don't know many people who are against free stuff. So, and there is no airdrop activity for me. So, like I said, I just found this site not too long ago. Now the lottery, uh, the lottery has actually not happened since I signed up, so I don't have a lot of details on the lottery. It always is said to be announced. Uh, looks like what they're going to do is they're going to have these things in the lottery pool, and then first, second, and third break it down to 50, 25, and 15, and then four through 10 get two and a half percent of the pot. Not a bad deal, and this is probably the just the dust that they collect off their staking goes into a pool and everybody gets rewarded. So 10 people get rewarded every time there's a lottery. Not a bad deal. Now here, this next one, is the absolute reason why you would like to, why you would want this to be your first staking pool site if you are not committed to this and you just want to try it out. The faucets. At this time, there are two coins in the faucet, Bitcoin W Spectrum and MMO coin. Even if you have absolutely no interest in either of these two coins, you can claim them because they do have a balance so there is coin available you can claim them and you can actually own some of these two coins <coughs> excuse me to get you started without having to invest anything so you could come in here as I post this video sign up for the site click on the faucets go to the MMO coin faucet click on this and claim 0 0.01 MMO and that's free coin it just shows up in your account and starts staking and you can do that every 24 hours now faucets usually are donated coins so someone has donated these coins <clears throat> for people to use it's not something you would want to abuse you're not gonna get rich off of it claiming off the faucet every day in fact, I would discourage that. What I would use it for is to test the site and get a little bit of coin to get started. Uh, it's kind of like a take a penny jar. You take a penny if you need it, and in this case, you would be someone in need. Uh, when I wanted to see if the site actually even operated before I started transferring anything to it, I did these two. And I got, let's see, it was like 2 to 3 Bitcoin W and 0.1 MMO. Well, Look at that. I got 0.1 MMO. And in the last couple days, I've gathered that much. And Bitcoin W, <clears throat> which is right above it, I got 2.93. Now, neither of these is going to make me rich because that was 0 0.0004 cents. And that is uh, 0.0161 cents. So it's not a huge... They're not going to give you like dollar coins. And that, well, they might. I'm not going to say they won't, but they are not at this time. However, somebody just gave me like a couple of pennies for just clicking a button. And those couple of pennies are in a stake pool that increase all the time with me not doing anything. Free money. Good experiment. If you want to try this out, <clears throat> I would kindly ask to use my referral link and I would very much encourage you to try out the faucet if it has balance claim it you've got coins I, I can't make it any easier than that they can't either it really is a good way to get started this staking site 
seems to have most all of the things that I would like. It's got a coin vote, so you can suggest the coin that you want to have put in. It has a variety of coins already, but if there's one that you like, um, I can't think any off the top of my head. Um, Bitcoin Radio, I, uh, bro. If I want to suggest that, I can actually put it up for vote and hope that some other people get behind it. If they don't, I can keep putting it up. If they do, then it gets listed. So the, the full democracy of it, the transparency of what they see, all of the granular, granularity of detail that you can pull out of your account, I would say this would be the site you want to go to to learn how to stake and how to do masternodes if you want to do shared masternodes. Uh, and like I said, I can't speak too much for shared masternodes because honestly, like I keep saying, I like to do them myself. So I would go buy 100,000 VSync and set up my own masternode. Anyway, that is stakecube.net. And uh, like I said, I will be posting my affiliate link. And if you do sign up for it, it would help me out greatly if you use the code and I, I don't ever require it. I mean, if you want to sign up and don't use it, sign up and don't use it. It's not going to hurt my feelings. I'm not in this to make huge amounts of money. But if uh, this actually seems valuable to you and you want to find a nice way to pay me back, that's a good way to do it without having to, like, do any kind of donation or whatever. Um, it kind of helps me out. It helps you out. It helps everybody out. So I put them in there. Use it if you like. Don't use it if you don't want to. Either way, I'm fine. But I can't think of any cons with this site so far. It's got a lot of pros. If I had to pick one, for quantity of the coins, I would pick Stake United because I'm very interested in the coins they have. For amount of detail and the ability to add more coins, I would pick Stake Cube. So if I had to choose, I would probably choose Stake Cube. In the long term and stake united well at least for the short term so that's my verdict on how i would vote out of these three sites and stake labs is is not bad it's just there's so many things in the interface that i don't enjoy that make it more complicated that i actually had to spend time to explain to you how to get your coins in to stake this one you just make a deposit it gives you your deposit address there's, there's nothing to it. So buy the coin, deposit it, and you're good. Uh, or just use the faucet, get a couple coins, and you're good to start. And when the exchange kicks off, you can exchange those coins you've gained from staking to get coins you like. You really can't beat it. So I would highly encourage you to sign up for this. I would also encourage you to purchase at least one of the coins at a very small value and do a transfer into your account so you can get to level four validation or verification and then you can actually participate in the airdrops the lottery the faucets the coin vote everything so even point one of a coin is enough to get you verified you don't have to put in a lot i mean turbo doesn't even have any value really um uh, MMO, pretty darn cheap if you wanted to buy some more of that. Zest is one that I found is not too terribly expensive. Uh, once you get up towards the top, they get a little bit more pricey. But, I mean, as you can see, like that is not even a penny. But that's 43 cents a coin. So if you wanted to grab some NAV for 43 cents, transfer it over. There's your deposit. You're done. If you wanted to get some Bitcoin green for 252 a coin, there's your deposit, you're done. So that's all you need to do. Anyway, check the link below. Let me know your thoughts and comments. Uh, which one would you choose out of the three of these? Or if you're already staking on one of them, which one are you using and why? Tell me in the uh, comments below. I'd love to hear more about what you think. I've spent a lot of time this week talking about what I think and my strategies. I'm always open to hearing what you guys think. I definitely am not going to ever say that I am the best at this, but I get by. 
and it's interesting to me and I do what I want to do I don't do what the trend says I have to do now as far as my mining that's a different story I actually do go in and check what to mine every morning I do change my miners over I rotate everything uh, but that's just part of the manual process of having a miner is you have to make sure that you're actually still mining a profitable coin this doesn't matter I'm always mining doesn't matter if the coins profitable today or tomorrow it's still gonna be mining I don't have to change it so this would be this would be a good way to get into it without having to do all the fussy work of keeping up on hardware and mining and stuff so again I'll catch you guys later uh, that's pretty much wraps it up for what I had intended to do for introducing other avenues of cryptocurrency methods of gaining stuff well, that was a really badly formed sentence. But uh, if you want to hear more, definitely let me know what you're interested in. I'll try to talk about it if I have any exposure to it. If you do want me to talk more about the masternodes that I have, or maybe set one up for you and show you how that works, I'll be happy to do that because they do all get a little fiddly and they are a little bit more difficult to set up. So maybe we could set one of those up together if you're interested. If you're not, okay. But it will be after the 28th probably the beginning of August before I would do that video but I did want to measure response before I bothered to do it because I'm not going to invest money to get a thousand to five thousand coins or something spend all the time setting up another VPS so I can set up another master node so that I can show you how to do it if nobody cares so this I mean that's a lot of expenditure and a lot of effort on my part for something I don't really need to do but if you want me to do it I've got some things in mind that I'm interested in that I can do so I can do it. It's just not on my list of priorities. All right. Well, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching and let me know your thoughts. See you later.